Dear friends, in this tutorial, we will learn about the load line analysis of a diode. These are the points covered in this video. Let us start with what is a load line. A load line is usually a straight line, which represents the response of the linear part of the circuit. It also represents the constraints put on the voltage and current in a nonlinear device, by some external circuit. It is an analysis that is preferred with graphical method, by drawing a line on the characteristic of the device, that represents the applied load. The interconnection of the load line with the characteristics, determine the point of operation of the system. Now, let us learn, how to draw a load line. We will consider the network as shown in figure, 12.1, having characteristics as shown in figure, 12.2. A practical diode is a nonlinear electronic circuit, because, it has a nonlinear VI characteristic, that is, the circuit does not follow Ohm's law. Here, VD, is the voltage across the diode. ID is the current through it. VR is the voltage across the load resistance, R. The diode is forward biased. To know more about forward biasing, follow the link in the description. Now, let us consider the current flow in the circuit in clockwise direction, and the diode is unassumed. By applying Kirchhoff's voltage law to this series circuit, we get equation 12.1, If we set, VD, is equal to zero, in equation 12.1, we have the magnitude of, ID, on the vertical axis. Again if we set, ID equal to zero ampere in equation 12.1, and solve for, VD, we have the magnitude of the diode voltage in horizontal axis. The line joining the two intersection points is called the load line. Point to be noted that, by changing the value of load resistance, R, we can change the vertical axis intersection point, so, that the slope of the straight line depends on the value of, R. Now, we have a load line defined by the network, and a characteristics curve, defined by the device, the point of intersection, between the two, is the operating point. Similarly we can find VDQ, and, IDQ, as shown in the figure. The operating point is also called the quiescent point, or Q point. This Q point can be found out, by solving equation 12.1, with diode current equation. Now, let us find the slope of the load line, from equation 12.1, we get an equation for ID. Comparing this equation 12.4, with standard form, Y equal to MX plus C, we get, the intercept, C equal to, E divided by R, and slope is, M, equal to, minus 1 by R. So by changing the load resistance R, the Q point is also changed. Now you will see, what happens, when E is equal to, E of T, here, in this case the slope is constant at minus 1 by 4, but the intercept shifts, as shown in this figure 12.3, so, the maximum positive value of, E of T, leads to maximum current flow, and the minimum negative value of, E of T, leads to minimum current, denoted by minus, I naught. Thank you for watching the video. If you find it beneficial, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would also like to have comments if further modification is required.